Drum roll, please. Hashtag Q&A coming at you from John Patrick. Um, so this was on the Josh Allen highlights video. Yep. Um, he, and I'm going to paraphrase, but Mario will put up the tweet. You're welcome, by the way, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's just walk the line of violent copyright infringement to post a video that everybody will like. You know, I did not. That's from, that's from us to you. Violent. <laughs> Violent See, we, play, we walk over the coals for you guys. <laughs> if you want to see two guys eating in a car, click that subscribe button. Um... Can you imagine one day you wake up and YouTube sent you an email like, yeah, we closed your page. Just stop, stop being a jerk. Good copyright. thing I back everything up. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll okay. post it again. Shaq Lawson. Um, so John wants to ask about the defensive end position, Shaq Lawson, and how Shaq Lawson's contract, if the Bills do extend them or you know what they do with Shaq Lawson, how that impacts other players on the roster or impacts the draft. So, I mean, you have like Trey White, you have Josh Allen, you have Tremaine Edmonds, you have Deion Dock, you have Matt Milano. There's a lot of guys that you're not looking at contracts right this second, but you are looking at them down the road. So how does Shaq Lawson play into that? Um, I don't really think he, he, it does, he plays a very high part in that. Okay, let me let me ask. Is that from? Do you mean from a dollar standpoint or from a priority standpoint? Um, I would have to say f financially. Okay. He doesn't play a big part in in, in affecting those contracts. Now, okay. as far as his play on the field, does it affect those players? Mm -hmm. um, he he played pretty well this year, but technically this was his contract. Yeah. So you don't know if you're going to get that type of consistency out of them. I understand that. If they're sold on them, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's going to get top five money. Oh, which no. I don't think it's 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 fine. You're going to extend a Trey White prior to his contract being up. Yeah. Um, Tremaine Edmonds, you don't have to worry about him for a while. Right. Yeah. You're absolutely so right. So Lawson's contract will more than likely be done a year before... Edmonds re-signs his. Well, Lawson's contract, right? So here's how this is going to work, right? Effective right now, so effective December 31st of 2018, the Bills could start negotiating with rookie players, okay? okay? So those are players on the expiring rookie contracts. Lawson was already in that category, mm -hmm. right? Because he's on, uh, he's in the fourth year of what would what could be a fifth fifth year contract. So his cap number for next year is 3.7, right? If you're the Bills, you can look at signing him to an extension without having to exercise that fifth-year option and kind of stave off that, was he going to make like a $9, $10 million next season with the fifth-year option? I'm sorry, in 2020. The projected. Yeah. yeah, so he's going to make Could between 11 to $13 million. I don't think the Bills want to pay him that much. Really? Right? No, I don't think so. I don't Will think he's that level here? player. No. Well, Hughes would be, what, 32, 33? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, an aging Hughes... That's even more. That's even <clears throat> more. So you think? Well, Hughes is on the last year of his contract too. That's what I'm saying. So, okay, so you think that Hughes is a bigger priority than Lawson? Right now, it depends. Yeah, I mean, look at the what's, next three seasons. Who, who, who's a bit? Who would you rather sign, Foles or Wentz? Wentz is four years younger. Right. How much younger is? What was Lawson? Twenty six. Twenty five. So. So. And you got six more years with him, right? Would you Would you be happy paying them both the same, both nine million dollars? I mean, Jerry's not going to be happy with that. I mean, if you look at no, he, but he has to see that his production has. I mean, he although he he performed well this year, it wasn't. It's a It's a weird situation with Jerry. Yes, yes. it's a weird situation. If so. he wants to remain with the Bills, and he understands what's going on, he may. He may not. He has to realize he's 32 years old. Right. Well, Shaq Lawson played 43.3 percent of defensive snaps, which is online with the way that they rotated their defensive line. Mm -hmm. Right. They really didn't have guys playing more than 55 percent of snaps yeah. across the board. So they really did a good job there. Um, he had uh, four sacks, uh, 11 QB hits, 18 tackles. I mean. Line is not going to make too many Pro Bowls. 
18 solos. Sorry, 18 solos. I'm saying solos. though, because because they cycle them so much, because of the aggressive style of defense they play on the front four. Um, well, right. Not, they, you always have to have fresh bodies. So what I'm saying about Shaq Lawson is, I don't think you're looking at giving him a big contract. I think you could look at saying, listen, let's give you a three-year extension. Let's we'll buy out this year. We'll buy out next year, and let's kind of meet in the middle. Right? Instead of you making three this year and 11 next year, why don't we just make it seven for the next three years? Right? Let's, it's the same money, right? but we're just going to buy an extra year. And we'll buy an extra year at seven. We'll give you a $3 million roster bonus. If you're on the team, that boosts it to 10. Everybody's happy. Right? So I think you can work Shaq Lawson's contract extension without giving him a huge amount of years and a huge amount of money if it's positioned like an extension. Right? You're not giving him a new contract. You're giving him a contract extension. You've already got this year with him. You can have next year with him if you want with that fifth-year option. And then you can add another year or two onto that. Yeah. But I don't. I think you can mess with his cap number this year and increase it a lot for 2019 because you got the cap to do it. You got the money. You might. Why not? I mean, spend it now. Two things wrong with that. One, you, extend, you do it for three years. He's 26. Let's say he's 26. Right. He's not going to be happy being a free agent at 29 because the contract he gets after that probably won't be as big. That's one. Two, he can go in there and say, listen, I rotated down a defensive tackle this year. My numbers were better than the start of the two of these, and you gave him all that money. That could be one of those things. The thing that I, I don't mind it, Bills could counter by saying, listen, this is a very defensive-heavy draft. We could find you a replacement. Not a big deal. Well, that's – and that's the reason why I think the contract's position – that's the reason why I would approach it the way that they're approaching it. I don't, yeah. think that, I don't necessarily think the Bills are going to take that approach. But, um, yeah, this is a draft where you could go in and you're sitting pretty. You could draft a defensive end. Yeah. And now – and you give them a year, they rotate in with, with – just like they did with Harrison Phillips. Yeah. Right? And then you kiss Jerry goodbye in 2020. You don't re-sign him because you don't have to at that point. You still got Shaq Lawson. You still got this other defensive end that you just drafted. Um, I my problem is I don't want to invest money in Shaq Lawson when I have to pay Trey White and when I have to pay Matt Milano and when I have to pay Deion Dawkins. Remember, Milano and Dawkins don't give you that fifth year option. You don't have it. No. You know you, you got to start looking. When you hit year three, you got to start looking down the road. And, and I don't want to tie up money in Shaq Lawson, who decided to show up this season. Well, that's true. And the thing you have to think about with, with Hughes, and I, I, I kind of misspoke. You want to talk about the, the kind of production that he's had. <clears throat> it may have been down this year, but who played behind him like 80% of the time? Milano. Milano played. Was that because Hughes was in front of him and people put so much attention on Hughes? So Milano was able to roam free or what? So as far as Lawson goes, uh, it's always a touchy subject when it wasn't this regime that brought him in, but this regime challenged him. Right. And I believe he stepped up to that challenge. I think he, putting your hand in the dirt next to Kyle Williams every day will rub off on you. I mean, you would hope, but the problem is this is year three of it. I know. You know, know and, they didn't have for the first two years. Of it. Well, Shaq Lawson's not stupid. He knew that this was the year that he was going to have to show up to get his contract. All out the players do. They're not I stupid. Mean, they, he knows that. And if he's had character, if they've had character concerns with him in the past, I do not see them extending him more than an additional two years. I don't think they'll do it to themselves. I don't think they'll do it to themselves. You set a precedent with Jerry Hughes, though, or with uh, with Shaq Lawson and how this how this team manages. Because if other players see that, hey, he challenged him in camp, Shaq stepped up, and they still cut him. If he challenges me in camp, I know I'm gone. Why would I even play? But I look at it from a priority standpoint, and the defensive end position is a little bit more. I'm just trying to give you with the locker room vibe. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, and I, the, and the counter argument is that, you know, Trey White is a billion percent more important. Oh, yeah. But look at the number two CB position that the Bills have been able to rotate in and out of. Is Trey White really all that important? Right, because the Bills have been able to fly in secondary guys and, drop, you know, drag and drop them in, you know? He's and, cutting off and half the field, though. I think, that, I think that's the point, right? So, to me, Trey White is way more expensive. Matt Milano, I'm sorry, Trey White is made more, way more expensive and important. Matt Milano is going to be way more important. Yeah. You don't have to worry about Allen and Edmonds because you've got another four years with them before yeah. you have to 
worry about their contracts. But, um, you know, Milano, Dawkins, those guys are impacted by Shaq Lawson, depending on how long that extension goes, if they even offer him one. Um, or even Jerry Hughes at that point, because Hughes could, I mean, you're going to extend him for one another three seasons at 11, 12 mil per. You know, like that's that's getting into the area where you're really maybe only buying another year or two of production, and this draft is loaded with defensive talent to be really just that's the thing. Always really gets me mad them. when when people get mad about guys not resigning. They, they they're paying you for what you're going to do, not what you did. Mm -hmm. So we're yeah. not resigning the 26 year old Jerry Hughes. Again. No, no, you're not. ten million per. So no, you're not. And good teams. And we'll talk about this probably in almost every episode. Good teams don't draft for need. They take the best play. They take the player that's going to impact their team the most, regardless of the depth of the position. Football is a game of attrition. When have you ever seen a good player not get on the field because they just couldn't get on the field? No, good players get on the field. They find ways to put you on the field. Steve Young. Excluding quarterbacks, good players have a way of finding their way onto the field. No, we can't do. We can't even take that angle because then Big Spence in the comments is going to be like, "Well, Matt Barkley's the best quarterback on the roster." I agree with you, Mario. That Big Matt Mark Matt Barkley's the best quarterback on the roster, and he's blocked by Josh Allen. I agree with him. What the heck? Give we'll Barkley a shot, yeah. Barkley, twenty nineteen. <laughs> That's what we call post production. Man, we're gonna have to. We need, we, need to, we need to check the exhaust system on this Kia. There's a gas leak There's in the a car. gas leak in the Kia. You have the banana in the tailpipe from Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> All right.